Hey, Rick. Clyde, do you need a minute? Just Take your time. Stephanie, how you doing? Dave. If you could stand up here, it'd be easier. You won't. Just stand right here in the corner. Right near the Heather Gosling Memorial Step. Oh, you're on it. No, you're not on her step. Her step was that one. And she was still a kid. We called it the Stacy Lefton Step until Heather got here and she was usually a half a head shorter than Stacy. <laughs> State of Iowa versus Cornell Beckley, B170-1844. Come on up, sir. Are you Cornell Beckley? Yeah. How old are you, Cornell? 27. How far did you get in school? 11. Why did you quit school? Prison. Okay. It wasn't because you couldn't do the school work. It was you just went, got locked up, right? Right. All right. You've been indicted by the Hamilton County Grand Jury in B1701844. It is a 36 count indictment. Uh, have you received a copy of your indictment? Yes. Have you had a chance to go over it with, uh, I'm sorry, it's a 38 count indictment. Have you had a chance to go over it with Mr. Bennett? Yes. All right, Mr. Bennett, you're retaining the case? I am retaining, Your Honor. And what's his plea? His plea is not guilty of all charges. All right. What are the allegations here, Mr. Prem? Judge, uh, this is a 38-count uh, indictment, as you indicated. This defendant was charged in connection with his uh, participation in a gun battle that occurred inside a nightclub on the uh, eastern side of our county. Uh, this defendant and at least two other individuals were shooting at one another while inside the nightclub. Two individuals were killed, including one of the people that we suspect was involved in the gun battle, and 15 other people were injured. There was uh, one, one of those people was very seriously injured, uh, and his condition uh, to this day is touch and go. As the defendant indicated to you when you were uh, asking him about uh, his, uh, why he didn't get out of school, he's previously been to prison for offensive violence, for aggravated assault. He's got to... Well, I just want the facts of this case. Right. Okay. Well, Did he make any admissions against interest? Hi. Excuse us. Sir. Did he make any admissions against interest that you would attempt to introduce in your case in chief? Judge, I did inform Mr. Bennett today that he was identified by witnesses uh, as wearing a uh, distinctive color uh, red a leather jacket. He initially denied wearing that jacket, but the police have photographs of him inside the bar that night wearing that jacket. Who's the case agent for the city of Cincinnati? Detective uh, Witherall, okay. Detective McNeil, and Detective Warden from Cincinnati Police on the side. Okay. Anything as to bond, Mr. Bond? There's bond. Currently 1.7 million straight. I've got an argument for bond. Anything as to bond? Judge, I'd submit it to you. It, it does involve 17 different people uh, being injured uh, by gunfire. So whether 1.7 is sufficient or not, uh, I'd leave it to the court. I it's, certainly don't want this defendant to get out. Uh, what, what is, I'm sorry, what does Mr. Beckley do for a living when he's out? He's unemployed, Your Honor. Hmm? I have a job. Mm -hmm. I'll leave the bond where it is. Same bond. If he makes a cash bond, he'll be on EMU. Are you going to request discovery, Mr. Bond? We're going to request discovery, Judge, but I like to work backwards on this case. We like this. I like to set a trial date. That's fine. When do you want to try it? Um, when was he arrested? He was arrested on uh, D-1-7-0-1-8-4-4. 
Do you know when he was arrested? A couple of weeks ago, Judge. He was arrested on March 30th, Your Honor. Okay. So he's not willing to waive time at this point in time? No, Your Honor. That's fine. But he is going to request discovery, correct? That is correct, Your Honor. How about June 5th? June 5th? I'll be within time. I'll be within 90 days. Although, if you request... I'll take June 5th, Judge. Although, if you request discovery, it will toll time for a period of time. Judge, would you consider June 19th? No. I got, I, I'm I, not available the week of June 12th, and I'm, I'm concerned that this might go into that week. I'm not available the week of June 19th. How about May 30th? We can do May 30th. It's the day after Memorial Day, Clyde. Let's go. All right. May 30th, 1-7, 9 a.m., jury. We'll put this on for a, how long will it take you to get discovery to him? Uh, a week. Okay. Today's the 10th. We'll put this on for a pre-trial or for a clear trial setting. What day next week is good for you, Mr. Bennett? Friday, April 21st. Okay. We'll put it on for April 21st at 8.30 at 8 for a clear trial setting. What, uh, is there any other work, Mr. Prem, that needs to be done by the coroner's office? Just ballistics and DNA, and I'll do my best to get it expedited. Mr. Bennett, do you anticipate hiring any experts yourself? At this stage of the legal process, no, Your Honor. I'm not acquainted with all of the evidence because he hasn't given me the discovery, but that might change. Are you filing for it today? Um, it'll be filed Wednesday. All right. See if you can have the case agents here next week yes, as sir. well. That would be good. Anything else, Mr. Bennett? Nothing, Your Honor. All right. Thank you very much. He's thank back you. upstairs, Deputy. All right, courts in recess for a few months.